What is going on, Internet? Zygix here coming at you with another Pokemon Sword. Last time, I decided to mix it up a little bit and uh, go ahead and battle an IRL friend here and freaking Linoon here. Um, he's going to be more of my official rival here because uh, the in-game rivals are kind of... You know, they suck. I can just steamroll them. But I will say, though, that was a pretty... I mean, what we had... The battle we had last episode was really... I thought I, I was not entirely sure I was going to win. But uh, I am on my way up to Hammerlock here. And um, I also forgot my timer. Dang it. Look at that. 300 watts. Um, don't plan on sticking around for that max raid battle, though. Freaking! Damn, Noctowl. And you know what? I told... I was so excited about that battle, I got this out and totally never bothered to open it up. Well, cheers. Surprisingly, it did not explode. Uh, I dropped it yesterday and um, didn't want to open it because I was afraid it would explode. Alright, whatever. Let's get up to Hammerlock and I will get back to you guys when I get in there. Alright, I gotta talk to this guy first. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motostug. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, look, it's Butthead. Oh, it's you. I doubt hope will be coming. It's only natural. That's such a humiliating defeat. There's no way that he can look at the champion in the eye. I'm sure that's why he would, well, he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've won already. Thank you, challenger. Butthead, I can confirm that you have the required badges. Thank you, and it's bead. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> if that's not the epitome of childish, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Whatever. All right, Hammerlock. Uh. That was a good one. I don't know what it is with Coke. Coke, don't change a thing with your with your current recipe. Holy God, I love freaking Coke. This is not an endorsement by any means. Okay? I mean, okay, not, okay never mind. Not, I wouldn't say that. Not an endorsement. I'm not sponsored. I'm not whatever. You get the idea. Anyhow, wait, wait. Do I need to even go to the... Do I need to get anybody healed up? No, we're good. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change that freaking sock out. Like, what the frick is with that? There's a closed store over here. That's not it. But it is over here. Alright. I need... I need... I need a new hat. Uh. Oh, look at that. These look so much better. Uh. Yeah, go with that look. That looks... Looks pretty dope. Probably won't be changing that for a while. All right. Anyhow, moving on here, we need to. Um, I think I uh, no. Yeah, I did see. I did see the 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 chairman up here with butthead, and he still has no pants. What the frick, dude? Mister Chairman, I'll be collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that was what the chairman in that it was that the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Ain't that right, Mr. Chairman? It'll solve that nasty butt itch. Uh, um, that's not what I was talking about, but, um, anyhow, it's not about me. It's for the whole future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We'll need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, I was able to show how one of the champions endorsed trainers how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep up the, to keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger B, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? We are you coming on to me? Because I'm not that interested. In you. I hope you were listening, Dijek. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are, 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 are even attached to your Dynamax bands. Uh, there are more wishing stars than just me, uh, than just wait. God dang! I there's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, 
You should head to the stadium, in fact. We should head right inside right away. I'll even give you a lesson on how Gallery Region gets its energy. But first, I need to get my pants. <laughs> well, freaking time. Alright, in we go. So, um... Weren't you supposed to get your pants, man? Uh, I seem to have been sidetracked here. Because Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, let's uh, let, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Duh! What am I looking at? See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the, in the underground power plant and delivered throughout the, uh, throughout the region. Mm-hmm. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and, and water. My associate group, uh, uh, my associate groups aim to, uh, yeah, that was right, that was right, dang it. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earfall. Sidejects, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head over to Route 6 from the stadium and you should be fine without, uh, you should, you should find the vault without any issues. Can we get your pants now? Yes. Hey, tight here. Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy! It looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion! The level ball. Alright, now... Level ball is perfect for high level teams. A higher, the higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch! Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, let's head over to the vault then, shall we? Uh, oh, hey, look, it's uh, freaking Leon. It seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately said, like, I'm sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I heard him apologize for anything. I have no idea what it was for. Maybe if he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle. Yeah, he lost to Bede. When you lose, you feel down to the dumps. But there's there's nowhere left to, but to go back up. But uh, ah, to go back but up. Damn. You gotta think of why I won. You've got to think on why it was you who lost. Whatever. Uh, you know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot that meeting with the chairman. That only on it really gets, lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I can remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Raihan while, while you're here, Zydex. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the, and the final hurdle you'll have uh, you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around in the vault. If you hurry, he, it's down that way on Route 6. Alright, well, let's get on the bike here, and... Go! Speed up! Go faster! Okay, there, made it. There's Raihan seems to have a bit of a gut there. Holy crap. Oh, if he needs any trainer into his buddy champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Really? You can't You can't just fucking ask me? You gotta look it up on your phone, you lazy fuck. Alright, what oh, all right, Zydict. And if Leon himself recognizes your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the Almighty Raihan has to prove they're up to uh, up to it by earning seven badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, aren't you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Wow, look at all those trophies. I'll spare you even one of my lead cards. Man, like, who makes those? Now, on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up the stairs, you see? Need to do something about those skinny jeans, man. Up we go, and here we are. 
Oh, great. It's more freaking storytelling, isn't it? Oh, you're here! Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that they're still they're, that they are still treasure tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching the wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and shield to stop the disaster. The youths being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. <laughs> Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to them about the most? Uh, the two heroes? Bring on! The statue that, in, that at the hotel in Modestoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really one and only- was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. But I'm going to go research the tapestries a, a tad more. But if you have your, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I have to see more of your wins. Why, thank you! Alright, I'm off now. Let's head to Route 6 here. Ah, uh, but we gotta get to the vault first thing. Hold on, guys. Alright guys, off to Route 6 here, and going to Stow on side. Interesting town name, but whatever. Um, hey wait a second, is there a way to get over there? Or is that like, I wonder, maybe not, maybe that's just part of Route 6. I was thinking maybe I could get up there from, um, oh hey look, a San, um, is that a Sandy Conda, or is that a Silly Cobra? Anyhow, I was thinking about maybe I, was, maybe I could get over there from like the wild area, but anyhow. Two Team Grunt derps messing with the Silicobra. Hello there. If I promise to not wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Alright, and here's this dork again. Oh, hey there. I think you're heading out to Stoneside, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. He was mocking them. That's what he was doing. He was he was mocking their their their, their tone of voice. <laughs> I totally did not screw up their voices. No, you kids are all too loud. You can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not for the kids wearing a challenge band. But all you stomping around and silly crowd cobra is sure to, to wake up. Right. What do you say, Zydex? If we don't get past him, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge to stow inside. I'll battle him. Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are too are way too noisy. Do you want to wake up the, the, the silly cobra now? Do you? I swear, kids these days. Well, we got no choice. We're gonna send you packing. It's all for the sake of silly cobra. All right. Well. All right, butthead. That's stunky. You know, I just love stunky. You know, I mean, it, it always sounds like it's. It always sounds like it. Well, stunky and um. What does it evolve into? Crap, why can't I remember its name? Whatever it evolves into, it sounds like it's farting. Skun tank, that was it. I... Alright, oh, give you a quick attack here and. Man, friggin'. Well, that's more like a burp. Well, no, it's. Never mind, it's got a butt for a face. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's got a... <laughs> it's got a freaking... Yeah, it's got a butt for a face. I mean, I, I couldn't be any more... Couldn't be any more... I mean, seriously, what else does it look like? Well, it could look like a purple peach, but you know what else a peach looks like? A butt! And stealth got the crap kicked out of him. I don't know what he got help hit with. I was not paying attention. Alright, Habanero, here's your chance to, to, uh, to prove your worth here. Give it a flame wheel. Ah, I hit it with faint. Solid attack, there we go. And, oh, of course, freaking Aftermath. Wait, it has that ability? I thought that was, uh, that was exclusive to... I thought that was exclusive to, uh... Drift Bloom. 
Drift Blim, that was, a, what am I saying? Drift, Drift Loon. Alright, no, no switching out here. Got ourselves a Linoon here, in it's dark. Okay, good deal, we can use Bug Bite. That'll be really good. Holy crap! Well, so much for that. Um, we have, yeah, I gotta, I've, I've got, I've got a solution to this. All right. Well, I'll we'll give you a rock smash. Should be quite. Yeah, that'll do quad damage there because it's normal and dark. Boom. Done. <coughs> All right. Well, I need to revive Stealth and Habanero there, so we can get their XP there. Otherwise, they're gonna start falling behind here. Bobby, even your battles are too noisy. Look who's talking, man. Your whole team is named Team Yell. I think I'll leave this up to you, Zydex. Keep up the pace. Hop, did you really get your ass handed to you again? <clears throat> Alright, we got a light bird. Alright, Simmons. You know what to do. Friggin' pin missile. Oh, it's only... Well... Oh, not this again. Wait a minute, when did that when did frickin' uh, a Galarian Linoon evolve again? I gotta look that up. Let me look that up here real quick. Let's see. Um let's see. How to evolve. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, so a Galarian Linoon will evolve at 35 and it evolves at night. Uh, I can't really evolve it here, because for whatever reason, it doesn't work on, like, specific routes. Uh, you gotta go into friggin'... You gotta go in the wild area. Uh, Man. Alright, we'll try Pin Missile again. Come on, hit it. Thank you. There we go. I gotta say, this isn't that I mean pin missile is really useful. There seem to be a lot of dark type Pokemon. Alright, well. Wukong's 28, and uh, I win again. What a surprise. See the Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. There's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler at some other day. <laughs> Sidex, you and Dreepy were brilliant. What? Dreepy was... No, Dreepy got the shit kicked out of him. See, Bead really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you gotta lose sometimes. I just didn't want to lose to him, because he's, he's a little frickin' prick! But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's an unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Zyjax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Silly Cobra just slithers away. You're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> my name's Alper. If you want to know more, have a look at my lead card. Okay, Gran. Freaking Granny. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go out. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll make it on my own just fine. <laughs> ah, my hip! <laughs> Alright, guys. With that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. And may God bless you all. See you in the next one.